So when I get to the fourth, look what I do. So look at this. Look at this. It's a pull instead of a right angle punch. The finger extracts the honey out of the note. Drag to pull. See it in slow mo? And then I tuck in the thumb and I bring the D and then I tuck in this thumb and then I resolve it here. It just fades off because it's the sixth chord. That's the sixth chord suddenly there. Yeah, so beautiful. So we didn't expect it. That's good. That was much better. And then, yeah, and then you're dragging nicely. Right, so what's your ultimate goal to get to the A flat, right? That's where I want to go. And then I'm going to resolve it here. That's right, that's right. And when we yeah, think I mean, we're... Right. Yeah, one of the things I've been doing just practicing is is just skip the um, the trills completely. Okay, yeah, um, so you get the principal and, and note. Finger it correct. So I'm using the note I'll end up at the end of the trill, mm -hmm. but just to sort of, so it's kind of... Exactly, that's what I would do. But that's what I would do. See, that's very good now. You've got some shape to that line. Now answer, answer. Now deeper here, because drop your voice. So what are you gonna do in that measure, in 11? Are you gonna go to the eight, second A flat? the undulating sound of the caterpillar rolling yeah. around. Yeah. Okay. The, the little curves. Going towards that destination on that A flat on the third beat. It's just a little bit of a yeah. lift on it. So what are we doing that the preceding measures? Yeah. 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 That's not so flat. It's a, it's a bit, yeah, but in, 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 like, yeah, in measures 9 and 10, I think you just want to go, it, it, you want to go right to the end because it keeps going. Yeah. Up. Not a punch, just a little roll around. and valleys. Yeah. In measure nine, that, at least in the right hand, it feels like you're going four chord of E flat major to resolution one chord of E flat major, right? Because we're in the, a secondary tonic here, right? So this I would lean on more. I lean a little bit more on measure. And it's a response, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because it's a sequence down from the four chord to the one chord. A little more arm weight there. More arm weight. More arm weight on measure nine. Just drag your fingers. There you go. That's it. Good. That was good. Yeah, now you got some shapes. And you can afford to like imbue a little more arm weight where you need it. So you know, you, you leverage some arm weight in and out too. So it has a thick thickness, more density to it. You know what I mean? So you have more density going in and out of your, of your passage work. Your yeah. arm, arm weight variations.
Because I feel that. I really feel when I'm really tracked it in and then I lift a little off and I go back in and I lift. You know, I'm always playing with those variables of, you know. Okay, so then what comes after that? So you can't, we had a long line here. I'm done. because you went right across horizontally to your cadence, your E-flat cadence. That's good. And then you're going to go back to and creep into body. Body. Go to measure 16 to get the whole phrase, where you start at the bottom and then you build. getting a little boxy here. That's what I kind of heard just now. Instead of what do you want to do? Drag your fingers, drag your fingers to the honey. Instead of tap, 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 tap. Because you had a beautiful line in the left hand. The left hand was nice. Yeah. So you continue into the right hand. Right. That was it. You, you might want to bring that out a little bit. A good Bach player with the second time would bring that out. That D flat, C, B flat, A flat. You know. This first page, mm -hmm. the, the thing to really work on is 9, 10, and 11, and then just like that closing cadence. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. it's a bunch of other things. Well, like... It plays itself pretty much when you get to those with the common tone measures and they're just moving in and they're answering, you know, A flat major, E flat major. So can you go back to, let's go back to measure nine again where you're doing. Suddenly, the the last measure had an accent instead of a pull, but you have to but you have to support the previous measure with with arm weight, right? Pull, pull, pull your finger toward you. 
get a beautiful tone by doing this. Pull and delay, pull and delay. Got a delay on that too. So it's a really dotted half note. Keep the, keep it. It's better, it's better. So when you get to that last note, can you pull out the notes to get a singing tone? So my whole arm weight is in that note, but it's being pulled toward me. I don't know if you can see that. I just pulled it up toward me. Get you a beautiful sound. Here. Yum, ba, yum, ba, yum, ba, yum. I think on those agogic notes, I would do that. I, the agogic notes. The agogic notes. Yum, ba, yum, ba, yum, ba. I think the agogic notes to bring them out. But but each one is a little more because you're doing crescendo to the top one, to the G, right? A flat's less, the D is more, and the G is most. On the, um, those are agogic notes, right? They're uh, syncopated notes on the off beats, third beats, the tied notes. So you delay them, you delay them. That way you delay them so you don't get an acceleration into them. Yeah. The other pull was this, the, the third note of the... It was, it was oh yeah, well, I, just, I told you to use the arm weight in. Right. Yeah, that was the one. And it, and right. It's and right, this. It's true. It's true. It's, it's, it's exactly the same note with the same finger. True, true. true. That's funny. That's right. That's right. You have to do that. And in fact, yeah, it is. You, were, you have to. Playing. In a violin, we would delay the bow oh here. Goodness. It's playing the exact same notes. That's right. That's right. Go see the CDE. Just, it just it's That's just, interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like that's motivic. You would say that's like a motivic, and he throws it off at the very end beat of the previous measure, going to the third beat to the first beat. Right? Where's the beginning? It's the first beat opening it. There's a syncopated quality to it, yeah. Da -dee -bum -bum. I would give more arm weight to it and I would pull the note like this so I don't get a punch. I don't get a pokey cadence. And you can have rhythmic sequences. You don't always have to have complete melodic sequences, right? Because he does different things in measure three than he did in measure one, right? But still, the listener hears it as a sequence. Yeah, especially with the with the bass uh, the bass line because you've got uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well it's it's very rhythmically the same right right you're definitely dropping your voice for the sixth chord and then dropping your voice for the do primary dominant in measure four which is the primary dominant he's dropping his voice right first he did this and then he's going see he's doing the same thing right so that it's heard as a sequence. Four three four three there, right? You said. First one I do. Here's what I do. Go. That's my trick. Yeah, the slide. Yeah, I do a little slide. Nobody knows that I'm slide. No, that's that's such a beautiful. That six chord is so unexpected there. I think that first the first page is much better now. Now what happens in the next part? This is where you're opening everything up. It's much higher. It's higher up. Yeah, but do the rolling in again. Don't get the rolling motion. Just like you did at the beginning. Okay. Right, right. Answer? It's an answer.
bring out the left hand and lower the right hand. But not both hands doing that. Lower one hand to bring out another hand. Because the right hand's just going. Right, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So that's that, but you want the If you want to bring that out, right, you, you give yourself a traction here. Second time I'll do I'll I'll do the counter melody. You know what I mean? You could decide whatever you want to do, but or the, you could do it both times, right? Yeah, I mean, you're not doing like, variations of, of pitches or melody, so whatever you decide to do. I kind of like it right away to bring out the counter melody. And the uh, all of the counter melodies. just jumps out at me those places but here a lot of pianists will not do this but I like it maybe the second time I would do it if I wasn't doing a melodic uh, variation I would say okay I'll bring out that counter melody but at the same time you're still shaping your other line too you're not letting false accents you know intrude upon on your horizontal playing you still know the shape of your line above it right you know, yeah, and know. that's the thing you have to watch. That's the tricky about that. I mean, like, that's what happened just, just now. I mentioned right, we've got so, two yeah. accents you didn't want. It. Yeah. It's good though, it's, it's doing well. Um, but let's see if we can get through that second part there. Okay. So you, there you would do more on the left? I think so. I would. It's still 
Seamless. Da, da. And then these are almost like afterthoughts. Right, right. It's part of the harmony. It's like one harmony yeah. through that measure. It's a C minor yeah. harmony. Right. I just think of C minor. C minor with a little passing tone. Now diminish. And then you move. Then you move harmonically. Right. Yeah, be careful of that yeah, just, you see. But okay, what's much see. better now is I don't hear the boxy things with two eighths to the quarter, you know, where you have boxed in okay. eighth notes. I hear long lines. And no matter what you do in the left hand, I hear you, you're stringing things along with the mosaic of, you know, okay. horizontal, seamless, shaped lines. Yeah, so much better this, now. Yeah, because, yeah, this part. Uh, right, it's a diminished chord. He's just going right through the diminished chord, right? Oh. Is almost one long line to the cadence, right? One long line. Long lines. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. It makes a huge difference the way you're threading the long lines and you have the little dips in the valleys and the curves. You have to be so relaxed. Very relaxed. It's like your whole arm, the arm is feeding into the keys, the arm weight and the wrist doing stuff and the physical part of this piece.